Hi guys, this is FFAN16 and welcome to a news game update for Fairy Tale. Pre-orders are available! Yes, pre-orders on the PS4, the Switch, and Steam are now available. Head on down to your platform of choice and purchase either the regular edition or the digital deluxe version. Now, I'm going to go into details later on in this video what each include, but I think the biggest shock for me is when I was shopping around to get the different pre-order look for you guys is the price differences. I'm new to looking around. I usually just look at my PS4 and I go, but since this is available on multiple platforms and I want to spread the fairy tale love as much as possible, I thought I'd give you a look at what this price point is on all systems. So the first system we're going to look at is the PlayStation 4. On the PlayStation 4, your price points for the standard edition is $79.95. Five or 99 and for the digital deluxe version is $99 roughly a hundred bucks and they will give you all the bonuses with the digital deluxe version and the theme pack comes with both this standard and deluxe if you head on over to the switch your price points are roughly five dollars cheaper to four dollars cheaper at 75.59 for the regular edition and $95 roughly for the digital deluxe version. $5 difference to me is okay. Like I'm kind of wondering what this is gonna release as physically, especially the standard edition that you can get in stores and I'm hoping the deluxe version might be available physically, but I think it's only available digitally at this time. Now heading over to Steam is where we see a huge price difference. I was quite shocked to see that the price difference from the PS4 to Steam is quite large and it might just be something with Steam. I don't personally buy my games on Steam. My boyfriend does so he might know this a little bit more to me as why the price is so different here. But the standard edition is $68.99 and the digital deluxe version is $85.99. Definitely some good deals over on Steam if you want to get this game there. I personally will be enjoying it on my PS4 and bringing it to you guys as my mainstream over on my Twitch channel. And eventually I might get it on the go if I enjoy it a lot so I can take this game whenever I leave the house and just fight for my guild and work with the crew from Fairy Tail. I know I'm excited so I'm going to get into the details here of what's included in the standard edition and what's included in the digital deluxe version. I've already covered a little bit of this in a previous video, but I thought I'd go over it quickly here to help you guys decide. So let's get into those details right here. So coming in the regular edition of Fairy Tail, you get a pre-order bonus of the Fairy Tail special theme and avatars. You get a limited uh, time free Urza costume, Miss Fairy Tale, and available until Thursday, August 13th, 2020, which is amazing because this game releases at the end of July. So they're leaving the pre order bonuses open for a week and a half by the looks of it from release. A game based on the popular fairy tale is available on the PS4. Play as powerful mages from different guilds. A total of 16 playable characters, which we we were getting knowledge about that, which is amazing. Magic battle systems aim to become the number one guild because we got to work on that guild uh, status for sure. In the town of Mongolia and inside of the guild are fairly depicted complete missions. So basically a standard outline for the regular edition. So this one here just comes with the theme and Urza's fairy tale, a Miss fairy tale costume and the avatars. Now let's see what the digital deluxe version gives you. Okay, so with the digital deluxe version, you get the same thing as the regular, the fairy tale special theme and avatar. Uh, limited time Urza costume, Miss Fairy Tale, and that again is available until August 13th, 2020. Content included in this product includes the game itself, DDX Only Lucy's costume, Geist Collaboration, Riza, and limited edition Growth Lacrima times five, a Natsu costume, Lucy costume, Grey costume, Urza costume, and Windy costume, Fairy Tale Team A. 
And then it's the same details that you saw in the standard edition. So in this version, you get the content included, all these products. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products or a DLC that you get with a deluxe version over and above the regular edition. And that will come upon the download of the game itself. The theme is available upon purchase and I'll show you what the theme looks like right here. The theme they give you is pretty standard. There's no active wallpaper and I do like the music that comes with it. It is really nice and I'm okay with I like three free themes. I'm all for uh, giving me as many themes as possible so I could change the look of my PlayStation up whenever I get in the mood for something new. So I want to hear from you guys. Which edition are you getting? What platform are you getting it on? And are you as surprised as I am as to the price difference? Or is it I'm just surprised because I never really shop around and I mostly just buy for my PS4. Therefore, it's this is new to me and I'm not aware that the price difference differentiation may be a normal thing. So all right, guys, leave your comments down below. Let me know if you're excited for Fairy Tale because we've finally pre-ordered it. I like sub, leave that comment. And as always, guys, happy gaming! <laughs>